What is going on guys? We are on an adventure today. Is Hayes' head in the top of the frame. They're perfect, just keep standing like that. So we are here today, uh, I got my good buddy Hayes with, and uh, what are we doing? I mean, we don't, honestly don't really know what we're doing, but it's kind of a multi-species deal. We have one fish in mind we would really like to target. Should we keep it a mystery or tell them right now? I think we'll keep it a mystery, but uh, we'll give you one spoiler alert. We're big fish, <laughs> catch some big fish today. Yeah, we're on an adventure on a much smaller body of water than I've been on the last few weeks. Uh, made a long drive last night, and uh, we're gonna take a look at, uh, we pretty much walked out here, um, we're gonna take a look at the Helix. I did some auto charting out here this year, um, totally unmapped lakes. We're gonna take a look at that, and uh, hopefully catch a whole bunch of big fish uh, somewhere out here today, right? Hopefully, let's we'll see what happens. So one thing I always bring out, doesn't matter if I'm walking out like this, on the four-wheeler, wherever I go, is the hummingbird. You need to be able to, number one, know where you're at, uh, get on structure and stuff like that. So this lake around, like we were saying, does not have a chip. Um, it's not on any kind of map chip. Um, I can't find maps of this lake. So while I was out here this summer, I did some auto charting around. And auto charting is one of the absolute coolest features you can do um, with the hummingbird units. Basically allows you to create a lake map as you drive along the lake. You can do, uh, you know, you can do lots of passes back and forth to make a very detailed map or you can just do a couple passes over a spot while you're essentially fishing, just leave it on while you're fishing or trolling, whatever you're doing, um, and just kind of get a rough outline of what you're looking at. So that's kind of what I did here. Um, so here you can see I do not have any uh, mapping on here. Now when I put my auto chart card in, um, we're gonna see this start changing here. I'm gonna select yes for uh, looking at the auto chart. And here you can see we're out on a point. Now this lake does not have a whole lot of structure. Uh, but in this spot, I have a point right here that comes way out into the basin, and I have this hump out here where it saddles down to like 30, 31, and comes back up on this. I know this is rock. Um, without this, I wouldn't really know what I, where I would be. Sure, I could drop a waypoint here in the, in the summer if I was in a boat, um, but I wouldn't truly know, um, you know where I'm at on the spot without having auto charts. So as we are punching holes, Hayes hooks up immediately. What do you got? Is it what we think? It's a big fish, whatever it is. Oh, that didn't take long. I couldn't even punch all the holes. This is, I don't know if this would be uh, what we're thinking it is, bud. You think it's a uh, T-word? I don't know. <laughs> it's a nice fish, whatever it is. This is truly one of those lakes where we have no idea what we could catch, but it could literally be a big fish of virtually anything. Besides a pike, I don't think we'll catch a pike today. I saw it, whatever it is, it's big. <laughs> a big fish, baby, big fish, big fish. I like it. What was it, that it on? It was big, it was big. That was on a... Tungsten? Tungsten. One of those plastic. Acme Tungstens. It's Look a trout. That. Look at that, my man. Trouty trout. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. oh, he's not ready yet. Here, put him back in the rod. Oh man, he's nice. He's close. <laughs> Look at that, man. <laughs> oh, sick. First drop of the day. <laughs> Beautiful lake trout right there in that Acme Tungsten. Was that fun or was that fun? That was a great time, buddy. Great time. <laughs> How awesome is that, man? For the first few minutes of fishing. That is sweet. He's got a fin clip there. You can see he was handled at some point. It's probably about a 26, 26 inch fish right there. Nice fish, yep. Dump them back, and uh, I like what we're doing. Great way to start the day. Great way to start the day. <laughs> Let's let that guy go. There he goes. What That's what there? we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. First fish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to put this in perspective, dude. We were just talking about how crazy it was that I couldn't finish drilling holes, and he hooks up on another one. Unbelievable. Keep fighting. I gotta get. The camera. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's good nice little trout. That's a little trout. You got this one? I think oh. I can get him. Little guy, man, he is just going nuts though. Hey, it's all about that fight. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, had we not done the auto charting, we would have no idea. I mean, we'd be punching holes all over Woo! this. When you auto chart like this and know exactly where you want to be, you can set up so specific on where you think these fish should be. It's not as big as the last one, but like I said, it's it's all about the fight, and these fish put on a good fight, very lively, very healthy. And uh, we're gonna let this one back. Yeah. 
Let's do it again. Dude, it's a super tank. It's a, it's a super tanker. <laughs> it's a super tanker, dude. It's a giant. Bigger? It's huge. It's huge, dude. Oh, dude. The whitey? Oh my gosh, it's a freak. Fighting them on these noodle rods and two-pound line is insane. And considering these oh fish my are, gosh, dude. these fish are just absolutely freaks. I've never, I have never saw anything like this in my life. Just freak fish. <laughs> I have never done a bite like this in I've, my life. I've never tangled with anything. I've caught a lot of whitefish through the ice. Yep. But it's never good. anything like this. Not catching whitefish that are high high 20s inches on two pound line and noodle rods, I mean. Oh dude, he's close. This is the, the absolute ultimate. They just, they don't stop. They just sit up they there. They don't stop. Oh dude, look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that fish, guys. Just big inland white fish. Just an absolute blast. We're gonna go ahead and let that guy go. And there he goes, paddling off. All right, so the baits we're fishing are very unique. White fish are a very strange fish in the fact that they adapt very well to the bodies of water in which they're found in. Um, so like today we're fishing a deep inland lake. I fish white fish on inland lakes around the Hayward area where I'm from. And these fish typically act a lot like deep basin panfish. They want very small presentations, a lot of your same crappie and bluegill stuff. So today we're fishing a lot of these basically tungsten jigs with plastics on them. And uh, very simple presentation, very small movements. It's a lot like fishing panfish in deep clear lake. So the other presentation we've had luck on um, for trout has been uh, cast masters, acne cast masters loaded up with waxies like that. That presentation I find to work in a lot of these inland lakes too. A lot of times in lakes like Lake Superior, we'll fish really big cast masters. I mean, way bigger than this, all the way up to that half ounce, three eighth ounce size and put a minnow head on there, something like that. And those fish will chase you all over the graph, up and down, all over. Today we're having our action about five feet off bottom, I'd say tops, and uh, on those tungsten jigs, we're jigging those baits a couple feet up, letting them come in. Um, the other bait we'll use on some Lake Superior stuff are jig and wrap style lures. This one's an Acme Hyperglide, and uh, that bait's great out on Lake Superior. Now, on places like, you can check this out. Hey, this is hooked up as we're shooting here. But uh, on places like Sturgeon Bay or Green Bay, where guys do a lot of whitefish fishing, um, they'll fish a lot of this kind of stuff with a fly underneath it or a lot of very small presentations that are cued in directly on the bottom of the lake. So whitefish adapt crazy, you know, crazy amounts to kind of what different kinds of lakes they're in. These inland lakes, they tend to act a lot more like crappies or bluegills. Lake Superior, those fish will fly all over the water column. And Lake Michigan, Green Bay area, they tend to relate very close to bottom. So very strange fish. Obviously a lot of fun to catch and uh, we're having a blast out here catching a mixed bag of both lake trout and is this a whitefish? I'll call whitefish. Yep. And whitefish. So the other very important thing to note when you're fishing whitefish like this um, is their mouth. Their mouth is super soft and a low will catch them on bigger baits on some different bodies of water. <laughs> Listen to that reel go. You want a very soft rod, something that can take, um, you know, take the fight. You want a rod that's going to load up real nice without letting those hooks pull out. So you're probably like, man, these fights are taking a really long time. Um, well, we're fighting them on really soft rods and uh, with light line. It's like super clear, so we're getting down, um, you know, two, three, four pound test, and uh, we're taking a little bit longer to fight them, but they are some big fish. I mean, I've personally never seen whitefish this big, especially on an inland body of water. Just a brute whitefish. Yeah. It's gonna make for some great eats too. What is it? Honestly, I don't know. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jason Brennick. I'm the United States Director with PC Fun Fishing. We're out here fishing for some gigantic whitefish with Tom, as you guys have seen on this video. And um, I'm using a PC Fun ICX5 spinning reel. So this reel just came out this year, brand new. And as we were going through the last year, really designing it, we made sure that we put some features into this reel that you guys as anglers were really asking for. Some of those key features are the extended stem. You can see here it's cold out. I've got my gloves on and I can still reel this reel with no problem with plenty of clearance and wearing a glove. Another key feature on this reel is the aluminum spool. It's a closed off design. No holes means no moisture inside of your rotor. 
so you're not gonna get as many freeze up situations when you're fishing in cold weather. And the last feature, which I love because I travel a lot and I'm always trying to stow my gear away when it's cold, is this awesome folding handle feature on the side. Quick stowaway, no worries about unscrewing the side of, on the side of the reel. Makes it easy and simple. Awesome reel. Sideways. Oh, yeah. No tail grabs on those. Let me grab Hold this. Hold that for a second. <laughs> yeah, they are just so wide. Wow. Look at that thing. Just <laughs> unreal. Unbelievable. Yeah, I think we'll smoke that one. When they're bleeding like that, you're better off keeping them and at least getting some food out of them because otherwise they're just going to go under the ice and die anyway. Yeah. So. Just a tank. Yep. All right, what's going on, guys? We are here with the bite recap now. Um, was it fun? It was a blast, yeah. Or those it was the fun. biggest whitefish you've ever seen? Those are the biggest whitefish I've ever seen. I think I know in my life, in person, and I'm almost positive on any social media account, YouTube, I think Facebook, they might get some that big in Canada. They're, they're and maybe big. in Lake Superior once in a while, but <clears> I've personally never seen whitefish average that size. Absolutely crazy. Now, the other question is, have you ever targeted lake trout with two-pound test and tungsten jigs? I have not until <laughs> ten and, hours ago, and we weren't using it. We were not using that stuff because it was more fun. They literally—that's what they wanted. They wanted the small jigs for whatever reason, whether it's some bug thing going on or whatever. I had much less luck with bigger stuff um, than Jason and Hayes had fishing that real small stuff. Um, so yeah, crazy bite. I had a good time. Um, I'm not sure where we're gonna be next. Any any other kind of recapping, like informational pieces that we didn't really talk about? Um, I guess just as a tip, you know, a lot of people say big fish like big baits. That's cases that's true, cases that's not true. I mean, don't don't be afraid to try that whole field of you know small to big, medium. Yeah. You got you, you got to let the fish tell you what they want. You know what I mean? The, they chase the bigger stuff, but they would not interact yep. with it like they would that small stuff, which is just bizarre for lake trout um, to be biting tungsten jigs like that. But that was the deal. So. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna be next, but uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.